In this quiet space, tucked away behind a few trees, is Michael Burnside's home, his tiny home, on Felicity Street in New Orleans. Uh, I paid $5,110 for this lot. The house, uh, according to the assessor, is 176 square feet. He built the home himself four years ago, paying a total of $16,000 to complete it. He said he just wanted to save money and relax. Little did he know he'd be part of the affordable housing conversation in New Orleans. There's so many different solutions to housing, and I think small houses, tiny houses could be a really great solution. Councilwoman Kristen Palmer met with Burnside a few months ago looking for ways to help end the affordable housing crisis. And one possible solution she came up with could be tiny homes. With smaller homes come lower utility costs. My electric bill last month was $9.67. Councilwoman Palmer says the homes don't have to be as tiny as Burnside's. They could be 750 square feet, maybe even 1,000. But getting these homes in the city is not as simple as buying the property and building. The problem is, though, a lot of our lot sizes are larger, and some of the city codes actually prevent you from building small houses or small houses on small lots. So while Councilwoman Palmer figures all of that out, Burnside will stay in his happy place, welcoming any and everyone to come say hi. You want to come see a good house, you come see my house.